The JEA scandal continues to unravel, and it seems like every time you turn around, there's something new. The latest chapter had the board firing Aaron Zahn without cause, denying him a massive payout. Then the revelation he frequently visited City Hall, presumably about the now-canceled sale of the city-owned utility. Shortly after talking with News for Jack's, Jack's uh, reporter Jim Pickett about that, JEA board chair April Green submitted her resignation. Then the bombshell for Mayor Curry's office that the entire JEA board was resigning at the end of February, save for one member whose term was set to expire then anyway. City Council President Scott Wilson, who orchestrated and launched City Council's own investigation into alleged problems at the utility, joins me now on the morning show. So, quite a chess game being played here. But in chess, there's only one king, and people are wondering, one king, more than one king, a bunch of pawns? What do you think? The JEA is an independent agency, and it needs to operate like one. So I look for the board at JEA to operate, operate that utility without interference from political um, outsiders, like, like the city council or the mayor's office. When you look at what the mayor's doing now, proactive or reactive? So the board members have resigned. I can tell you that the board members are volunteer members who serve our community. And it, I'm certain that the last year or two years has been very taxing on them and their families. I know I've experienced a lot of um, talk and concern from constituencies. So as a volunteer, I'm sure they have as well. So I'm sure many of them, and I haven't talked to them about this, but I'm sure many of them are ready to, to move on and um, go back to their private lives. A lot of people sat back and, and they heard the mayor's announcement about the resignations. And then he said, I'm going to work with city council to help appoint the new board. Before, it was just the mayor who appointed the new board. What was your reaction when you heard about the joint effort? So I'm very thankful that the mayor is going to um, discuss the appointments with us prior to making them and take recommendations from us. Um, obviously, it's still the mayor's appointments. The city council going forward is going to look at um, opportunities to change that structure. Maybe the next president or future presidents will appoint half. The mayor would appoint half. We're also looking to uh, change the um, qualifications of maybe a couple of the members. I'm not sure how many. Um, to ensure we have uh, folks who have utility expertise. The issue and the problem with that is it's hard to find enough people with that type of expertise in Jacksonville. So I'm not sure if all of them need to have that expertise, but some of them at least do. Nate Monroe with the uh, TU published an opinion column a couple of days ago, and he talked about what he called the mayor's about face on the issue. Back in November, the mayor was talking about some of the things that are going on, and he basically had a much different opinion just the other day uh, about this situation. Um, how do you perceive his involvement? So it's really hard to say, and I think any investigation that the city council conducts going forward will uh, provide more information. Um, I believe that it's important that the city council and the mayor um, stay out of the JEA business and allow the independent board to operate JEA as they're supposed to. But despite any posture the mayor takes, it's not going to stop any scrutiny of his role if there was any. And anybody else who was involved. I mean, you know, the reality is it's an independent board that needs to operate as such. Every time we turn around, it seems like there's a new development in the JEA scandal. Yesterday it came to light that there may have been a PDF that was altered in Aaron Zahn's presentation to the city council about the whole, uh, 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 what do you call it, the, the, the whole move to go ahead and offer people incentives were the utility to be sold. Basically, the, the PDF that had been altered said it was common for incentives to be offered to members who were involved in the sale. And the word common uh, had been changed. It had been uncommon in the original presentation. Were you surprised when you heard about that change? Yes, and um, no, no one in government should be altering PDFs and giving false information. So if that is true, and I don't want to speculate today whether that's true or not, but if that is true, that's very concerning. So the investigations will sort all that out? Yes, the investigation should sort all that out. We'll be able to collect documents and interview witnesses and determine uh, hopefully what happened and who, why, and where it happened and who was involved and when it began. Scott Wilson, thanks for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. It. And we'll be right back.